come around. Thank you. All right. I've given you a handout to make it easy to follow. If you, if you need extras, they're here. Here you go. How many of you know what miracle Grow is? We all do. It comes in a little green box. For some reason, they color it blue, I think, for sales value. And you put a teaspoon of that in a plant, or three teaspoons in a bush, and magic happens. My wife, we have the most blossoming flower box, petunias, or get the names wrong, they just phew. I've been speaking all my life, starting with the Boy Scouts, and that was simple speaking. But even up into my 50s, I didn't quite have the, <clears throat> the knack. I'm a good writer, so I'd write out my speeches, they were great, make a great book, but you can't speak out of writing. It's a different part of your brain. You speak out of your heart and who you are and what you care about right now and what you want to say. And even in Toastmasters, with all the great rigor and support, I never got that. I'd write out these speeches and memorize them. And I was organized, I was articulate, but I was kind of wooden. And I don't have time to explain to you what the keys were that unlocked that, but this is what I got to. And this is what you can get to starting right now. And I hope you can trust me with preparing a speech this way. And I hope your next speech, you actually do this. And if at the end of this, you think, dude, I can't do that, come talk to me or call me because I missed my point. Miracle growth for speaking. Prepare your speech and deliver your speech and sit down after your speech by following three principles. And they're the ABC on your handout. A, prepare but don't over-prepare. B, that's preparing your speech. When you get here and give your speech, be your best self. Not, not a recorder that spits out the words. And lastly, Trust your evaluator, and over time, trust your evaluators. And what, what I'm going to explain is how to, don't just walk with them, don't just listen to them, lean on them. Or if they don't hold you up, you just flop on the floor. If you do these three things, you can be like table topics. I'll get up any day, talk about anything that's me, that I want to say, and you'll be good at it. You may not be perfect, you may not win a speech contest doing this, but you'll be good. You cannot be other than good if you do this. So here we go. As you prepare your speech, most people start from the outside in. I'm gonna talk about politics. So they research, they do all this stuff, and then they try to boil it down to five to seven minutes, and that's why they go over. Start from the <laughs> inside out. What do I give a crap about this topic? What do I want to say to this audience on Thursday morning? Start there. And get, get something, yeah, I really want to say this. Then, pick a story or a principle that you're going to anchor your whole speech in. And I'll guarantee you, everybody in this room can talk five to seven minutes on their best story about politics or their best story about hiking or their best story about their family. Now some of us are pretty left brain. If you're an engineer, you may think more in terms of principles. Pick a principle. What's a principle on your topic you'd like this group to understand? Then you can pick a story to go with it. So story and principle. If you just tell your best story and state the principle of why it's important to you, that, that'll easy get, easily get you to five. Then develop two or three points that support that. And, and once you've done this, up to this part, you can remember two or three points. I mean, I'm not saying don't write anything, but write your points down. And, and begin building your speech from your heart and your mind, 
not a, not a script. Just forget the script. Have a grabber opening and energizing closing. I notice a lot of Toastmasters, even more experienced ones, they kind of they kind of mosey into their speech, and it takes them about thirty seconds to get cooking. <laughs> Do all that before cook from the minute one. And then again, I've made this point already. Don't don't ever write out your speech. It gets you on the wrong track. You might write out points. You might memorize your opening and closing, and then write that out. But now you're, you're coming in here, this Toastmaster is scurrying around trying to get organized, and you know you're up in five minutes. Here's what you do. You remember who you are and be your best self. Don't be the best recorder of your content. Don't be Bob Kittredge. Don't be John Haney. Be you. Relax and stand tall. Did you notice what Daniel did? He came in late, he was fidgeting around, he finally got up there. He stood like this, calm and erect, his whole speech. Start strong, I've already mentioned that. And if you have trouble starting strong, find somebody who does start strong and watch them and ask them, how do you get there? And thirdly, on this point, this is the most important thing. When you get up to speech, forget all your worries, your preparation, your everything, except that you're here right now standing up here and give a gift to the audience. Even if you say the wrong words, I don't know what you meant to say. Just connect and share. Give them a gift. Now your speech is over. You sit down, it takes you 20 minutes to wind down. You don't hear half the evaluation. <laughs> okay. But trust your evaluator. Don't evaluate yourself. That's why you're feeling like this. Let the process carry you forward. And what I mean by that, assume you did great. Assume they're not going to hoot you off the stage. <laughs> Never happened in the history of Toastmasters. Believe what your evaluator said. Those were really good. Just keep doing that. You need to work on this. Work. We'll work on this and that for your next speech. And the next time, get up and just let it rip. Be relaxed. And I guarantee you, if you do that, every, every speech you ever give will be a good speech. And the cumulative effect over time, you'll be growing into you as a speaker. And you cannot not speak like that. If you, if you do this other stuff, you're going to be fake. You're not going to be you. And you're never going to get better than a little bit. So relax. Use this miracle grow. Take your lumps along the way and get really good, Mr. Toastmaster.